Hey guys, it's Jay Zetronics, and today I'm going to show you guys how to update the firmware on your Phantom 3. Now, I'll be using the professional model, but it's the same method for the advanced. Now, you will need a, your micro SD card, which is inside your Phantom 3 camera, or you can use a USB flash drive. I'll be using it in a combination with a SD card adapter and a USB card reader. So the first step is you're going to want to make sure that your remote is fully charged by clicking and checking the power. Next, you're going to want to make sure that your battery is also fully charged. Now, I know in the manual it says it needs to be at least 50%, but it's a great idea to make sure that both of them are fully charged just in case it needs to take a little longer. Now, you want to go ahead and navigate to the DJI Phantom 3 webpage and head over to the download section. I'll have a link in the description to make it a little easier. Once you go ahead and navigate there, you're going to want to make sure you download the appropriate firmware file and the latest one, which in this case is 1.1.8. One is for the professional, one is for the advanced. Go ahead and download the appropriate one for your model. Now I have the professional one, so I'll go ahead and download and save that where I can access it quickly. Once you locate the file on your computer, go ahead and plug in your micro SD card inside your computer and plug it in. Once it shows up, go ahead and double click. Now this is called the mainframe or root directory. This is where the main firmware file is going to be. Now the best method to do this is going to be to extract the zip file where it is. By right clicking extract here, it'll generate a folder and within that folder is the actual firmware file. So let's move this over. It's a bin file, a BIN file. Now, for professional models, it's going to have an X. That's how you know you have the correct firmware file. What you're going to want to do is just highlight both of these files and drag them, drop in them into the micro SD folder or card. Now, you want to make sure, that, again, that they are not in any type of folder. Now, just before you do this, if you're using a used memory card, go ahead and make sure you save all of your data somewhere else and quick format it just to make sure you eliminate any errors. Once you have that all copied, go ahead and head back and properly eject your memory card from your computer by right clicking and eject. We'll go ahead and continue. Next, you want to take that memory card out of your computer, the one where we just downloaded the firmware files on, and put it into your Phantom 3. Next, go ahead and remove the camera gimbal clamp. Now we're going to power it on by holding once and hold down. Now this is, I'm going to play a short clip of exactly what it should sound like when it's actually reading the firmware files. Now this is what it should sound like when it's actually installing the files. So after about 12 minutes, this is done, and the way I know is the way it's making the sound. So you should hear a long beep and followed by two consecutive beeps. That's telling you that it's completed. You want to go ahead and power it down. Now we're going to check how it's upgrade it by removing the memory card from within the Phantom 3 and we're going to plug it into our computer. Same method, make sure you plug it into your computer's memory card and open it up. Now you should see that it's generated a text file so let's go ahead and double click that and it is completely success. So that means it's done completely correctly and we can now move on to the next step which is upgrading the controller. So let's go ahead and close this out. We'll leave that there for the moment. And we're gonna, once again, properly eject this. So again, right click and eject. Continue. Now I'm gonna be using my um, SD card adapter 
and my USB card reader for this, or you can use your USB flash drive by putting the firmware files on there. So I'm going to put that in and take this and plug it into the back to the available USB port. Once you go ahead and do that, now we're going to turn this on by pushing once and holding down. And you should see this red light. Now for about 60 seconds, it should be there and it'll start to read. Once it does, it'll turn blue. Now I'm going to play this short sound here. This is what it sounds like. Now I'm going to speed this clip up for the sake of this video. And once it completes, it should turn solid green, which means that it's completely done. Now what we can do is power this down by pushing once and holding down. And it's complete. Now we're going to remove our card from the back and check the status of it inside the computer to make sure everything went good. So plugging it back into the computer, we're going to open the file up again. This time you see it's generated two text files. So let's open up this top one here. And we do see success, so that's good. Let's close that. Open up the second one. And we do see success here also, so that means the controller updated successfully. That's good. Let's close that out. Now you can delete everything from your memory card if you'd like to. Uh, we're going to also take these three files. This is, this is something I like to do is save these in a folder on my computer just in case I need it for reference. But that's pretty much it. If you wanted to double check your firmware on your Phantom, go ahead and click on Gen Settings, General, and which is at the bottom, and go ahead and scroll down to the About section. And you should see the app firmware and the phantom firmware, which is 1.1.8, which we installed. So that means everything went correctly and smoothly. Now, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I will definitely try to get to you guys. Definitely like this video, share this video. And if you are new to my channel, definitely subscribe. Again, this is GZtronics. I'll catch you guys later.